Hello everyone, welcome back. In my previous video, we saw what was in that package and we unboxed it. So the eyepieces that was given to me, I really wanted to check them out. Out of the excitement that I had, I really knocked the telescope over and the telescope fell to the ground, really. And I was kind of scared, honestly, I was scared to the bones because when these telescopes like fall over, just like every other thing, they kind of break. And the main thing, obviously, that could break is the main element that is the lens. As this is a reflect, as this is a refractor, the lens could have broken. But fortunately, nothing really happened. And as you can see, it's still good. But the telescope was sitting in my room for sitting idly in my room for a long time so i thought it would be nice to like take it out and like clean it so that's what this video is going to be about so let's go out and clean the telescope it would be best if you could like take the telescope apart remove the optical tube from the from the mount and keep it aside and First thing that I did was to like clean the clean the mound. I used a bit of isopropyl alcohol and like a tissue paper. You could even use a cloth to like wipe over all the dirt and stuff that's there. So I haven't cleaned my telescope in like I guess six months. So it's it's pretty nasty in here. Once you're done with the mound, you can move to the optical tube. What I did here was take apart the optical tube of all of the elements like I took off the finder scope, I took off the right diagonal So I was left with this thing. From here you could actually remove the part which contains the lens. It really comes off in its own casing. So if you remove that you could clean the lens from both sides. You could actually clean the lens from both sides. As you can see I'm, I'm using a bit of isopropyl alcohol on the lens. You could do this. Just make sure that you are not just make sure that you're not using some kind of a perfume added isopropyl alcohol or anything because the perfume kind of like sticks to the glass and it might degrade the coating if there is any on your glass element so i would recommend that you use pure isopropyl alcohol for this so once you're done cleaning this you could actually take take these let take this casing out you could take apart this casing too and take a deeper you do a deeper cleaning inside unless there's something living like a fungi on the lens it's not advisable to like take it apart because these probably would have like two elements like three two or three element lenses inside and the orientation of these lenses are very important so if you kind of screw that up when you are like putting them together you would have to take it apart again and like to try to fix it so i won't recommend doing it once you're done cleaning all of the optical tube and the tripod and all of it, you can actually put them together. That's what I did here. And I wanted to check out the eyepieces and once again, it's very cloudy. Uh, for sure, I'll test these eyepieces out in the coming days, hopefully, and show you guys what these are capable of. I hope you enjoyed this small video. So until next time, this is me, a striving amateur. Goodbye.